We're going to have a look in a little bit more detail about how to set up our layouts or our drawings on our layouts in a little bit more detail. So we've already imported a floor plan which we'd saved as a save view which originally came from a worksheet. So it's a bit of a strange way of working because we're just doing 2D projection rather than creating a 3D model. Uh, so once we saved the save view we placed it on a layout and we see it's here. Now I'd mentioned in previous videos that um, I don't commonly use the inbuilt drawing title that we see in Archicad. If you're wondering what that is, if we go into the settings in our info box, down the bottom is our title. And then this is an international version that I'm using, international version of 21. And so it doesn't have a lot of inbuilt things here. Uh, sometimes I use the Australian um, education version, and it's got the Australian title, the Oz, a US title, which is great as well. Um, so it doesn't really matter what we're doing, we can create almost anything that we want or we can use nothing at all. I just want to explain this and go through this with you just so you hopefully have a bit more confidence to be able to use it and edit it yourself. So in position, we see that we can position it based on the drawing or the layout. We can have it on a particular side. Generally, it's going to be the bottom. Um, where do we want it to be? Width. Do we want to link width to position? So we could make this 100 or 50 instead. Uh, what do we want to show? Do we want to show the drawing name? Do we want to show the drawing scale? Do we want to show the drawing ID? Probably not. Uh, and in this case, do we want to show the layout ID? Definitely not. Do we want a line or do we just want the text? I'd be quite happy to not have a line. So we can go in and choose something that effectively means there's nothing there at all. What are we left with? We're left with this. So at the end of the day, is there much advantage in this? I'll leave that up to you to decide for yourself, but generally my answer is not really. Now it is helpful to have something that is updatable. It is helpful to have something that comes in automatically. Um, but you can decide for yourself what you want to show. And of course, you might want to have some more of those details on here, such as the drawing ID and the layout ID. Why would we have a drawing ID? Maybe we've got multiple drawings on the page. So in this case, just for fun, let's turn that on. Nothing's shown up. Why is that? Because our view doesn't have an ID, our saved view. So then the advantage of this, of course, is I could go into those settings and actually add something here. So if I called that one, then we'd see that that would appear here. So hopefully this makes sense for you. What will I normally do? I usually won't have it say something like that. I'll usually create a piece of text and say something like this. Let's just repeat that information. Zero, one, maybe this will be called ground floor plan. And then I write, might write something like this. At A1, or 1 to 100 at A3. And generally speaking, I would want to make this text bigger. So we might make this five. And so yeah, you might have seen on some of my videos, this is the sort of title that I would normally have. And because this is maybe a little bit complicated or unnecessary to have this as a built-in title, I generally won't. Now you could have a north point on an individual drawing title. Um, the Australian edition allows us to do that as a standard. Um, I'm sure we can make the, uh, this one do it as well. But ideally, we shouldn't have multiple north points on a page because everything should be located in the same orientation. So I would instead recommend that we maybe put on our master layout a north point on there somewhere. Now this might be all the way over the left hand side, doesn't really matter. A good point to note though is the north point should not be visible on something like an elevation or a section or maybe even a detail or a perspective because the north point is not relevant to those, only to plans. So if we've got a floor plan 
and elevations and sections, maybe we can get away with it. But if we've only got elevations or sections on this drawing, maybe we'd need to turn that north point off. All right, now that we've created this, how do we get the other ones in here? Let's look at that process. We've already got a section. We're just going to drag and drop this in. And then with the elevations, drag and drop this in. Now the point of this is we're going to look at how we could set up this page with these multiple views and maybe why we'd set it up differently. We can see that these elevations are quite close together. We might have trouble trying to uh, view those independently. So let's just go back into this source and just move them away from each other slightly. I was holding shift then just to make sure that it still kept it level or flat. Um, but that's sort of what we want. All right. So because this is one saved view, one view, we're going to create a copy of this, drag a copy, and therefore we'll have half on one page, half on the other. So can we fit two elevations on one page? We see it's quite tight. So maybe if we wanted to do this, we'd need to have them closer together. I could do this in two ways. I could keep cutting these into smaller portions, or I could go back into the source view and move it a little bit more closely together. In this case, let's do this option. Move them slightly closer together. Now, ideally, what I'm wanting to get at is if we move these too close together, then we can see if we had a lot of dimensions or annotations, then they'd no longer fit. There wouldn't be enough room. So we may have room on our page to be able to represent these accurately. We may not. We may need to break them onto individual pages, individual lines of the page. But for now, this will be fine. So in order to represent this well, you might need to put your project, because it will be different to mine, on multiple pages. I'm just trying to fit it all on one page. And the beauty of having it arranged like this is it doesn't matter at all that we've got multiple drawings in one viewpoint and we can still reference them. We can still put a title because in our case we're going to use a title that's not fixed. Great, so that's a bit clean. It's probably enough space to do this. We need to add the dimensions back onto this drawing. Once we do that, we might see it's starting to get quite messy. Might need to make sure that these dimensions are closer. And then when we update our layout, And maybe because we're a bit squished, a bit tight for space, we'll do the same with these. We'll move those across as well. So it's up to you to determine how much information you want to see, how much information you need to see. And if you're making it too squished that your drawing becomes hard to read um, or just doesn't explain what you need it to say anymore. I'll leave that up for you to decide. Great. Well, now we've got this title. Let's just duplicate this. Starting, I'm going to start this from the top left and work my way to the bottom right. Just to give a, a layout ID as I go. And most importantly, I've, I've mentioned this before, I don't back reference. Um, just the way that I was taught, back referencing is just very dangerous to reference from the layout, sorry, from a layout back to another layout. So if I was to have multiple layouts and I had, 
for instance, elevations and sections on this and they reference back to a floor plan where I had a section marker, I wouldn't say that that came from the same drawing or from a different drawing. Rather, I'd let someone go in a chronological method where they go from the floor plan to the section or elevation. Once I've created one, let's just duplicate them. I don't remember off the top of my head what the names of these are. North, South, East and West, something like that. I think we might have this as being East. I might just need to go check. Elevational reference isn't going to work. Let's call this West. West elevation. East elevation. East, North, South. Now I'm sure that's wrong. Normally this wouldn't be an issue, of course, because I would have named the drawings properly, uh, but they're all brought in as in as one linked file rather than independent files, and that's why we're having this issue. Now we see that we do have an issue with uh, the length of this because there is dimensions on both sides. If we go back into this, what I'm going to need to do to represent these properly or make them visible is to mirror them around. So we've got all of our markers all on the same, all in the same direction. And because of the scale, they, they're very clear. Right, so we're able to fit all of our drawings, our plan, section, and four elevations all on one page. Uh, most importantly, down in our master layout, what are we showing on the bottom right-hand corner of the drawing? Our drawing details, our project and site details, our name and details. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that we've talked about before that we might want to put on a layout, but that's sufficient for now. And finally, to publish this, which we've already set up previously, I'm going to use the organizer. We see that that's already created for us. We'll press publish. And once that's all done, that's all finished.